I got to decide whether women could have abortions or not. I was on the abortion review committee at St. Luke's Hospital, and we evaluated women who claimed to be suicidal and therefore were entitled to an abortion because if they were carried to terms, it would threaten their life because of their suicidal ideation. There were times when it was clear to me that the women were not suicidal and I had to decide. I was supposed to be ethically reviewing whether these women were genuinely psychiatrically suicidal or not. So I had quite a dilemma back then. I think there were probably times that I gave a woman an abortion when I knew she was faking it. I came out in uh, 1960, taking residency at USC. That three weeks of my 60-year career really stands out. It was an experience I'll never forget. I started this internship in this huge hospital, the Los Angeles County General. I remember one of my early rotations, it was on what was called the infected abortion ward there. And I was astonished when I got on that ward. I was also overwhelmed. The women were the sickest women in the hospital. They were almost all, to my recollection, women of color. We were able to save most of them. We had a fair number of, of deaths as well. Abortion was banned in California in 1900. For decades, doctors were hunted down by special teams of police and would go to jail for performing abortions. There was a time when LAPD had an abortion squad. Doctors were often brought up on criminal charges. Their medical licenses were in danger if they were proven to be doing abortions. In the 1960s, there was the San Francisco Nine, and these were very well-intentioned doctors who performed a series of abortions on women who had contracted rubella during their pregnancy. Rubella can lead to serious birth deformities and there were going to be charges brought against them by the medical board. And the medical community became very concerned about this. Subsequently, Governor Ronald Reagan legalized abortion in California, although I understand he later regretted it. I wrote a letter to the Los Angeles Times about this, this subject. Currently, 46,000 women a year travel to California for therapeutic abortions. It's estimated that that number will be 1.4 million a year if Roe v. Wade is repealed. And women of poor means can't travel that far. And I'm sure we'll have septic abortion units again. <laughs> 